What's up guys, I'm back with another movie review. Today I'm here to talk about Loving Vincent. Hopefully the sound works this time so I don't have to review it a third time. Um, this movie centers on uh, the son of Vincent Van Gogh's mailman, which I know sounds strange, but that's what it is. Um, his mailman was actually featured in uh, one of his, at least in one of his paintings um, in real life. Uh, Vincent Van Gogh's mailman has tried to get this letter from Vincent Van Gogh that was written to Van Gogh's brother, but he can't seem to find, uh, you know, the, the correct address to get it delivered. Vincent Van Gogh recently died, so it's very important to him to get this letter delivered, but he can't do it, so he tasks his son to, uh, to travel and try to get this letter delivered. Um, as, the, as the mailman's son kind of, you know, ventures around the land, he encounters all of these different uh, people who were, you know, close to Van Gogh or who were at least like, you know, had uh, meaningful encounters with him, uh, became subjects of his painting. And as he kind of, you know, learns more and more about Van Gogh, he starts to really appreciate, you know, the relationship that he himself had with him. And he also starts to question uh, the, the circumstances under which Van Gogh died because he starts to kind of get the idea that maybe things weren't exactly you know as it was originally reported and so that's pretty much what the movie is about um the story is very interesting but what it's definitely kind of sets this movie aside is that uh not only is it animated but it was uh frame by frame hand painted so when you watch the movie it looks like a van gogh painting come to life it's an absolutely beautiful stunning amazing presentation that's just immediately eye popping like <laughs> the first time that i saw it like I saw it at a theater and when it came to life on the big screen it was just like it was like stunning it was just absolutely stunning it was just gorgeous um, it's definitely unlike any other animated movie I've ever seen I mean you can try to replicate the look of a painting and uh, have good success with that but this is literally frame by frame hand painted the like painstaking work that went into this is just unbelievable by a team of over a hundred artists uh, visually it's absolutely gorgeous it's it's if you're a fan of animation, this is something that you absolutely have to see just from an artistic standpoint. Um, I do think this, the narr the uh, narrative and the performances are kind of going to get maybe overshadowed because of how just unbelievable and like attention grabbing the visuals are. But I actually think the story here is really interesting. Um, it does move a little bit slow at times, but because this is more about um, a journey and kind of the, uh, you know, getting lost in the visuals and the, the world, it's doesn't really matter that it's kind of slow at times it's definitely never boring or uh you know overly slow um, it just kind of like is deliberately paced at times um, i thought the performances were fine none of them really like super stood out to me but it does have some familiar names in it and uh i think everybody pretty much handles their job pretty well i did think chris o'dowd was kind of strange because it seemed like he was really <laughs> kind of hamming it up a little bit and the movie is mostly serious so just a little bit out of place but it was it wasn't anything terrible or anything like that um, again, I think the main reason to see this is just because it's such a beautiful, one-of-a-kind movie. I mean, it. a lot of people say, like, you know, the argument over whether movies are art. There's no argument here. Even if you don't normally think movies are art, which I definitely think they're art, but even if you don't, this movie is a work of art. It's amazing. Um, and like I said, the story is good. The characters are good. It is a little bit slow. Uh, but this is definitely not the case of where it's like a, a gimmick is used to kind of pass off a mediocre story. I definitely don't think that's the case here. I really liked Love and Vincent. I can't wait till it comes out on Blu-ray so I can check it out again. Um, so if you like animation, if you're interested in art, if you're interested in Van Gogh, or you just like really unique, um, interesting movies, I would definitely check out Loving Vincent. Um, so that's it. That's my review. I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, please uh, drop a sub for me. That would greatly help me out. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all that kind of fun stuff. You can also follow me now on Letterboxd. Um, all of those are under Mark Fusion. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I seriously, seriously appreciate it. It really means a lot. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon.